Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, we will learn about working on digital modulation schemes such as ASK and FSK in MATLAB simulating. So, we will first start with ASK. Well, ASK stands for Amplitude Shift King, which is a digital modulation scheme where is the a change in the carrier wave occurs according to the message signal which is a binary signal so we'll see how do we work on read so for this we'll require some blocks from the simulink library simulink is an excellent tool for simulating these uh, techniques in matlab so we'll first require a sine wave which we will be which will be a carrier wave for us so we'll pick a sine wave from here and add it to the work environment so we are picking this sine wave which is a carrier wave we'll also need a pulse generator at this one as well so the final output basically product the multiplication of these two signals. So we will need a product block here as well. We will also need a mux here. I will show you why. And, and in the end we will also need a scope to see the final output of the simulation. So we will just separate these blocks here and see how can we work on them right so this is a carrier wave and see its parameters so we'll keep the parameters to zero uh, sample time to 0 0.01 and we'll give it the frequency of 100 and okay for pulse generator y of t is 0 it means if, if there is no signal the output would be 0 if there is some signal the amplitude would be 1 so if its amplitude is 1 we will keep the width up to 50% and you can work accordingly for product we will just multiply these signals connect them connect here we will use the mux later on I will show you something and connect it here Let's just run this and see the output we get according to our hopes. Oh. So, is something wrong? Let's run it again. Okay. Let's, let's just change it to our required settings. Right. So we'll use Max here to see both the signals. where we can see the final output just connect it run it Not see the output. we are still having some kind of I think I have oops so the period of the pulse strain was 10 I just keep it up to 2 so that we can analyze it properly Now let's run it. Now you can see that for everyone there is uh, a change in the amplitude. For every zero there is no amplitude. So this is the final output of the amplitude shift king. Similarly we can plot our phase shift king signal as well. Well for that I'll make another video and for this video we will end up here thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe the channel so that you may not miss the important lectures